How's it going everybody? Welcome back to Monitor Comics, the channel where we create comics and manga. In today's video, we will be going over how to create cover art for your comics, manga, and webtoon projects. This video was highly requested by many of you, including Tavanga Zoro, Pop Culture Artist, Meta Link, and Turt. Make sure you watch this video in its entirety because we will be discussing the elements that define a good cover by analyzing iconic cover art from popular comics and manga. But before that, let's hear a word from today's sponsor. This video is proudly brought to you by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of online classes for anyone who loves learning and wants to explore their creativity. Skillshare is the perfect place to get inspired, learn new skills, and put them to work in impactful ways. Skillshare classes range from photography, illustration, graphic design, animation, freelancing, and more. For my audience, I highly recommend you check out Skillshare's classes focused on creating comics and manga. There are so many great resources for improving your manga artwork and storytelling abilities. Right now, I am taking the class iPad Manga Drawing and Clip Studio Paint by Ryo Katagiri. Katagiri is a Japanese manga artist whose work has been serialized in Weekly Shonen Sunday magazine. She's had manga series published by several Tokyo-based publishers including Japanime's Manga University, Shogakukan, and the Japan Travel Bureau. You may know Ryo Katagiri for drawing this official illustration of the VTuber Crunchyroll Hime. Katagiri is also the author of several How to Draw Manga books. Her course has taught me how to think like a professional Japanese mangaka. By seeing her full manga making process, I was able to make adjustments to my workflow. I now have a better understanding of how professional Japanese mangaka set up their Clip Studio Paint files, draft their manga, create panels and panel breaks, ink their characters, and apply screen tones. As many of you know, I am a published manga artist with the company Saturday AM. I have been using Clip Studio Paint to create comics for many years. With this course, I was able to strengthen my fundamentals and pinpoint areas of improvement. On the left, you can see one of my first pages from my published manga series, Change the World. On the right, you can see a recent redraw of the same page. By using the lessons that I learned from Katagiri's course, I was able to drastically improve my manga. If you are an aspiring comic artist, manga artist, or webtoon creator who uses Clip Studio Paint, I highly recommend you check out this Skillshare course. Skillshare is ad-free, so you can stay in the zone while you are exploring new skills. New premium classes launch every week, so there is always something new to discover on Skillshare. If English is not your first language, Skillshare's entire catalog is now available with subtitles in Spanish, French, Portuguese, and German. The first 1,000 people to use the link in my video description and pinned comment will get a one-month free trial of Skillshare. Take this opportunity to invest in yourself and your goals by becoming a Skillshare member today. Thank you again Skillshare for continuing to support the creative community. Now let's get back to the video. Cover art is a type of artwork presented as an illustration or photograph on the outside of a published product such as a book, magazine, comic book, video game, music album, or podcast. Cover art has a primarily commercial function. What I mean by this is cover art is used to promote the product that is displayed on. Cover art can also have an aesthetic function and may be artistically connected to the product. An example of this is cover artwork created by the creator of the product. As previously mentioned, cover art can take many forms. In the case of video games, cover art is referred to as box art. In the case of album covers, cover art is referred to as album art. If you are interested in pursuing a career in cover art, you will need to study graphic design. A cover art designer is a graphic designer who specializes in producing artwork for commercial products like books or music related projects. Often graphic designers who specialize in cover art also have experience designing posters, t-shirts, and other types of branded merchandise. In today's video, we will mainly focus on a specific type of cover art known as book covers. A book cover is a protective covering used to bind together the pages of a book. Aside from hard covers and paperbacks, book covers can be in the form of dust jackets, ring binding, and hand binding. A book cover is made up of images and text. Book covers typically include the book title and author's name. Sometimes book covers may include a book tagline or quote. The book cover design is usually designed by a graphic designer or a book designer who works freelance or in-house at a publishing company. Book covers are more than just decoration. They can tell the story of a book without the need to turn the first page. Books can be designed as a set or as an individual design. It is common for the same book to be designed with a different cover in different countries to better suit the specific audience. Book covers can give hints about the style, genre, and subject of the book. The purpose of a book cover is to draw the attention of potential readers and sell them on the idea that your page turner is the next book they need to own. It is important to understand that your book will be judged by its cover. We all know the saying, don't judge a book by its cover, but that's not how the real world works. People can be immediately reached, engaged, and moved by color and shape. That is why graphic design is such an important field to study. Think of your front cover as a preview into your book. Your front cover is what your reader is going to use to judge whether or not they want to invest their time and money into reading your story. Objectively, there are good and bad book covers. A good designer can clearly tell the difference between them. This is because a book cover is a product of graphic design that was created with the intention of selling your story. 
A quote-unquote good book cover is not just an expression of the idea behind your story, it is the way your audience first engages with that idea. With that being said, the only way to get better at creating book covers is to study and practice graphic design. The other option is to hire a freelance graphic designer to create a book cover for your story. Luckily for you, I have a bachelor's degree in graphic design and studio arts, so I can give you a few tips for designing cover artwork for your comics and manga. Tip number one, keep your cover design simple. If people don't find your book cover eye-catching enough to pick it up off of the shelf, then they will never take the time to read your story. Potential readers will only spend seconds looking at hundreds of different book covers on websites like Amazon. In the digital age, your book cover must be compelling as a life-size paperback and as a thumbnail image on screen. My best advice for you is to take one or two key elements from your story and implement them in your book cover design. Bold colors and images work well for catching a reader's attention. It is very easy to include too much into your cover design. While this design may work for you, it may appear too busy or convoluted for a potential reader. Think of a book cover like Shonen Jump's manga series Bleach. Each cover is simple in the sense that they all have a series logo in the top center, have a blank background, and only focus on a single character per volume. The Bleach manga volumes work as a set because when placed next to each other, the designs are consistent in their composition and typography. Tip 2. Book covers that appeal to emotions. In rhetorical analysis, there are three appeals to an audience's reaction. Logos, pathos, and ethos. Rhetorical analysis is a way of persuasion that is commonly used in public speaking or academic writing. The term logos refers to appealing to an audience's sense of reasoning. An argument based on reason would consist of logical arguments. The term ethos refers to the speaker's status or authority, making the audience more likely to trust them. For example, if I just told you I was some guy on the street, would you believe anything I had to say about comics or manga? Or would you be more inclined to trust me if I said that I was a published manga artist who has won several awards and has had merchandise made for my comic series? The reality is, we only listen to people who we believe can provide us value. The term that I want to focus on is pathos, which refers to appealing to an audience's emotions. An act of persuasion built on emotions tries to make the audience feel a certain type of way. For example, a public speaker may try and rally an audience up in anger or try to relate to them in order to gain sympathy. Relating this concept back to book covers, you want to persuade your potential reader to give your story a chance. A great way to do that is through appealing to their emotions. For example, a romance book cover should feel passionate and get us into the mood for a love story. A great example of this is the shoujo manga series Blue Spring Ride. Each cover has a watercolor-like art style that creates a dreamy and soft atmosphere. Each cover also focuses on one or two characters with passionate expressions. Horror book covers should feel chilling and creepy. Just look at any of Junji Ito's works. Each cover taps into different genres of horror and uses darker colors to make us feel uneasy. Humans are naturally drawn to the unknowns, so when we see weird covers like this on a bookshelf, we are more likely to take notice. Tip number three, choosing fonts for book covers. Make sure the font you choose for your book cover is appropriate to your genre. If you are writing a thriller, you probably don't want to choose a font that is too frilly or feminine. Instead, you would want to select a font that is bold and strong. The typefaces used on your cover design should be uniform. You don't want to use several different fonts for your front cover. If you do use multiple different font styles, your reader may have difficulties understanding your cover at a glance. Typography is its own field of study within graphic design, so I won't talk about it too much in this video. There are many tricks professional designers do with fonts like adjusting the horizontal spacing between the letters and vertical spacing between the lines. For more information about different fonts and what emotions they convey, please check out my What Fonts Should I Use in Comics and Manga video after you are finished watching this one. An example of a manga series with consistent font styles is the Death Note manga covers. The series logo is always in the top center of every cover. The volume number, author information, and publisher information is always in the bottom center of every cover. What's also great about the Death Note manga covers is their composition. Each volume cover focuses on one or two characters and perfectly captures their personality and emotion at the time of the story. Each volume cover is framed by a cross shape and decorative text fills the left and right sides of the covers. Tip number four, book covers with strong compositions. As previously mentioned, cover design is an art. Composition is one of the most fundamental skills required of anyone working with visuals. The term composition means putting together. It can be thought of as the organization of the elements of art according to the principles of art. As a refresher, the principles of art refers to balance, emphasis, movement, proportion, rhythm, unity, and variety. Some guidelines for creating a strong composition include Use the rule of thirds to create a focal point for your book cover. The rule of thirds dictates that if you divide any composition into thirds, vertically and horizontally, and then place the key elements of your image along these lines or at the junctions of them, the arrangement achieved will be more interesting, pleasing to look at, and dynamic. An example of a book cover that makes use of the rule of thirds is the Shonen Jump series To Love Rue. If we divide some of these cover designs into thirds, we can see a clear area of interest in the junctions of these lines. Use symmetry to create a balanced book cover. 
Symmetry is a very formal type of balance consisting of mirroring the proportions of an image. Bilateral symmetry, also known as two-sided symmetry, is the most common form of symmetry used, where two halves of the artwork mirror each other. An example of a book cover that makes use of symmetry is the manga series Toilet Bound Hanako-kun. It is very rare to find a cover design that is 100% symmetrical, so most cover artists tend to create organizational symmetry. In the case of Toilet Bound Hanako-kun, we can see mirroring characters and mirroring elements in some of these volume covers. Use textures and patterns to add non-distracting details. Textures refer to a perceived surface quality of a work of art. An example of a book cover that makes use of textures and patterns is the Shonen Jump manga series Dr. Stone. Many of the Dr. Stone volume covers showcase environmental bodies such as clouds, trees, and rocks. These elements are rendered in such detail that we can visually perceive how they would feel in real life. Use high and low angles to create dynamism. Dynamism is a term that is often tied to the Italian Futurist movement. Dynamism is a concept that suggests movement and energy. Figurative art makes use of morphing, receding, and emerging forms. By drawing a cover from bird's eye view or ant's eye view, you create visual interest that is eye-catching. An example of a manga series that does this well is the Shonen Jump title, The Promised Neverland. In many of these volume covers, we can see the characters from above and below. By placing the camera in a dynamic angle, the artist allows us to see the characters and setting in a new light. If we take a look at volume 2 of The Promised Neverland, we can see a fish-eyed lens effect applied to the background, creating a unique perspective on this mundane scene of the characters looking through a library. Finally, tip number 5. Research successful book covers. This final tip may seem obvious, but it is easily overlooked. Don't let this one video be your only resource. Take the time to look at the best-selling covers in your genre in order to find what types of covers other authors are using. Go to Amazon Books and search for books in a similar genre to the story you are writing. Once you spend some time analyzing other book covers, you will realize how repetitive they are. Most book covers make use of the same compositional techniques because designers know that they work. Don't feel bad about taking inspiration from your favorite books. Great designs don't magically appear out of thin air. They come from heavy research and inspiration. Hopefully you now have a better understanding of cover design in comics and manga. If you enjoyed this video, please leave this video a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Did you know that 70% of my viewers are not subscribed? Drop a comment down below telling us about your favorite manga cover. Remember, you can support me on all of my social media accounts by using the links down in my description below. I also recently opened a Patreon account where you have the ability to watch my YouTube videos early and see behind the scenes content related to my published Saturday and Manga series. If you join my highest Patreon tier, then you have the ability to work with me one on one. I want to give a special shout out to Blazeverse, Kiel, and Gifted Kudo for being my very first patrons. As always, keep creating everyone, I will see you all in the next one.